Today I'm going to show you how you can take advantage of a new standard feature on all Fiery external servers running FS500 system software or higher. It's called Fiery Preflight. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to right click on a job inside a command workstation. We're going to select the Preflight option. So this is going to open up our Preflight settings window. So what Preflight is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to check all these selected elements inside of a file to see if there's an issue. So using the standard preset, I'm going to hit the pre-flight button and it's going to run those checks against this file. So once the report comes back, you're going to notice that it found two issues. We have an issues with overprint in uh, one area in the file and here underneath spot colors, we have there's a missing purple spot color that's inside the file but it's not in the spot color library. So what this pre-flight report does for us is it allows us to identify these problems and fix them in the file before we print. Another thing that we can do with this to add the automation piece to pre-flight, even giving it more power uh, for end users, is if we go back to pre-flight, we can then just select the elements we want. So in this example, I'm going to turn off all these elements, but I'm just going to leave spot colors on. Now what I can do is I can come up here to presets and I can save this as missing spot colors. So now what we can do is we can run that against just this file with just that check for missing spot colors. Or what we can do is we can come out and use the automation tools built into the Fiery to uh, create more automation in our shop. So the first way we could do that is come to our Fiery Hot Folders tool. We could create a new folder that would allow us to check for the spot colors or we can take an existing hot folder and we can come into the settings and we can add a pre-flight to that process and we'll select the missing spot colors ones that we just created. So now we've added that into our folder settings to check for missing spot colors. The other thing we can do and this is my favorite is we can open up Fiery Job Flow Base or Fiery Job Flow so the paid version or the free version. We can sign into it we can then click on our workflows tab and we'll create a new workflow by hitting the plus sign and we'll call it spot colors and we'll hit create and we can do the same thing that we've done inside of the hot folder workflow we can come to the plus side go into the module for our pre-flight and then select our setting that we created earlier and add it to job flow and then finally, to add even more um, capabilities, we can create a rule for that, that if it does fail, we'll send an email over to our admin. And if it fails, we can also take that file and don't send it to the Fiery, but send it to a folder so we can check it. So you can see quickly, we're able to take advantage of the automation tools built into the Fiery with this new feature called Fiery Preflight, which again is now standard on all external fireys running FS500 system software or higher.